Hello Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, anyway. Um, okay, so Capricorn, off camera, when I'm shuffling for you, I don't know if somebody's stringing you along, making you think like, you know what, we're going to have this long you know um long prosperous relationship we're gonna get married we're gonna do this somebody is stringing you along and they have other people they may even take breaks from you like they, they i don't know it could i don't think it's ghosting it's just like a break like you may be asking when are we gonna hang out when are we gonna do this and they just always kind of like putting it off and then when they get ready to see you and they are ready to be around you you know they make the plans here you know um someone's stringing somebody along here there's also someone cheating someone cheating let's see what's going on what's going on justice card all right so it could be a masculine energy here the justice card someone feels like they want to do right they need to make a right decision right just someone could feel like they uh karmically indebted to i need to do the right thing you know, I know I, I made a wrong turn. I need to go back and make something right. The star card, maybe with an Aquarius, I need to get on the right path. I need forgiveness. Um, I need to be absolved. I need my conscience clear. I need to, um, I need to release something, I need to release my emotions. Uh, yeah, I need to release baggage from the past. All right, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the death card. Could be an ending of a relationship. Something is transitioning. Seven of Cups. Someone is scared to come back to another person and talk to them and try to make it right. They're, they're fearful to have the conversation as to how, probably because how the relationship ended. You know, somebody was in hopes, high hopes that they were going to go out into the world and get something better, something more. The Seven of Cups. It was an illusion. If something was an illusion, something was cast on them. Um, somebody got uh, smoke and mirrors, promises, uh, fallacy, page of cups. Somebody let something or someone come in between them because they were just emotionally uh, immature. They were being romanticized. Or what's that word? Yeah, that, that word. Um, they were being... Um, led astray uh told how beautiful pretty they are and fashionable and someone fell for something so trivial nine of swords now somebody's in the energy of you know not being able to deal with to cope with the fact that they they made a big grave mistake seven of pentacles somebody could be separated definitely separated from the relationship or the person that meant more that actually took them serious that actually loved them this was this is a lesson saturn's lesson in maturity and letting something mature let seeing it through um, finish what you start don't start a relationship and then stop it and in hopes that you can come back to it or recover it and it's going to be the same way or it's going to be the same thing or that you will be well received. So somebody's got to learn this lesson here. All right, let's see. Ten of Wands, yeah. Somebody took something or somebody for granted. <sighs> and this is extreme resentment, regret. The devil card. Somebody was tempted away. Could have been a, could have been you, Capricorn. You made the wrong choice. You're too extravagant in your choice. Says the devil card. Don't be extravagant in your choice. Make the right choice. Um, or the wrong choice. Um, it's going to lead you to the road of entrapment. Or being stuck. Or having to untangle. You know. Untangle yourself out of something. It leads you to the road of indebted being indebted back to justice being the first car feeling like you're indebted to somebody karmically indebted like you have to make this right somebody was good to you or you were good to them and they just didn't do right by you i don't know 
Somebody was tempted away. They made the wrong choice, honey. They was all glitz, glamour, gold, sparkly things. And they got over there and they was like, oh, this ain't even real gold. Seven of Wands, yeah. Somebody may have been tempted, tempted away by sex or someone is, you know, cheating or keeping a sex only connection open. Um,. Uh, now somebody's trying real hard to get somebody's attention and try to maintain it. Somebody's trying to come in with that destructive force. It's Leo energy. Wow. Trying to come in with that destructive force so that they can have reconciliation. Two of cups. Woo. Please forgive me. Let bygones be bygones. Now I'm seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Please. Please. Can't make it up. Three of cups. Someone's feeling like either you Capricorn or you feel like someone is the one that got away. And I need to do something big in order to win them back. I need to say something. I need to do something. I need to come with a puppy dog, a house, a car, something. To get them to see things my way. Knight of Pentacles. Now somebody's seeking. I want to be reliable. I want to be dependable. I want to be devoted. I want to be committed. Somebody's singing a different tune. Somebody's had some complete change. The sun card and the chariot card. Somebody was really all about themselves. Sun, the ego, self, the true self. The chariot card that, that somebody is very self-centered self-directed self-focused give me one more card on the sun card and the chariot card somebody was trying to achieve something the queen of wands it could be a female energy somebody was trying to go after their passion to find their life purpose Somebody was trying to put themselves out there also because they was like, I'm hot shit with the Queen of Wands. And they had to separate from somebody to do that with the Three of Swords. They had to divorce something that they were in. Let it go. Advice for Capricorn. This could be you. could be the other person. Get in where you fit in. Cross Watcher Capricorn. I don't know your life. You do. Let's see. What is the advice for Capricorn here? Five of Cups, King of Pentacles. You can recover this relationship. You're going to have to do a lot, though. Um, you have to reveal exactly how you feel. Ace of Swords, you're going to have... It's going to be a lot. It's going to be conflict before there's victory. The Three of Wands, you're going to have to take the lead in this. You're going to have to initiate here. And you're going to have to do a lot of work to make it move forward with the Five of Cups, okay? Um, Page of Wands. Somebody could try to put you in a place of now you just going to be you know side chick or jump off or they might try to this is somebody that loved you or wanted to see something with you or wanted to or this is how you felt about them but now somebody's not going to take you serious someone's going to just see excitement and fun with you ace of cups with the five of wands you have to really fight for this if you want this and you have to stand in it the magician You have to come with that speech, baby. You have to bring out that Easter speech. <sighs> Good luck. Um, this is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or 10 by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.